curing the negatives, does not produce the positives. Pessimistic prophecies are self-fulfilling. The optimists believe defeat is just a temporary setback. Pessimistic labels lead to passivity, whereas optimistic ones, lead to attempts to change. Authentic happiness, derives from raising the bar for yourself, not rating yourself against others. First, you learn to recognize the automatic thoughts, flitting through your consciousness at the times you feel worst. Second, you learn to dispute the automatic thoughts, by marshalling contrary evidence. Third, you learn to make different explanations, called reattributions, and use them to dispute your automatic thoughts. Fourth, you learn how to distract yourself from depressing thoughts. When the individual has a lot of money to spend, individualism becomes a powerful and profitable worldview. Here is the exercise, find one wholly unexpected kind thing to do tomorrow and just do it. Notice what happens to your mood. Optimists recover from their momentary helplessness immediately. Very soon after failing, they pick themselves up, shrug, and start trying again. Happy people remember more good events than actually happened, and they forget more of the bad events. Depressed people, in contrast, are accurate about both. Success requires persistence, the ability to not give up in the face of failure. I believe that optimistic explanatory style is the key to persistence. People with pessimistic habits of thinking, can transform mere setbacks into disasters. One way they do this, is by converting their own innocence into guilt. If you want to blame your parents for your own adult problems, you are entitled to blame the genes they gave you, but you are not entitled, by any facts I know, to blame the way they treated you. Both positive and negative ways of thinking, are important in the right situation. But all too often schools emphasize critical thinking and following orders, rather than creative thinking and learning new stuff. The skills of becoming happy, turn out to be almost entirely different from the skills of not being sad, not being anxious, or not being angry. Anger helps us defend threatened territory, it is just, and it is honest. Not only that, it is healthy. It is widely believed that bottling up anger can kill us, slowly and in three different ways. The optimist believes that bad events have specific causes, while good events will enhance everything he does. The pessimist believes that bad events have universal causes, and that good events are caused by specific factors.
Some people can put their troubles neatly into a box, and go about their lives, even when one important aspect of it, their job for example, or their love life, is suffering. Others bleed all over everything. They catastrophize. When one thread of their lives snaps, the whole fabric unravels. I used to think that the topic of positive psychology was happiness, that the gold standard for measuring happiness was life satisfaction, and that the goal of positive psychology was to increase life satisfaction. I now think that the topic of positive psychology is well-being, that the gold standard for measuring well-being is flourishing, and that the goal of positive psychology is to increase flourishing.